In this demonstration, we're going to look at the bend bulge relief command. I have a part on screen here, which is a fairly thick material, 60 millimeter thick. And when bending thick material, you get some deformation come through. And the bend bulge relief command is here to modify the design to prevent that material from moving out. So we start the command. I can go through and I can select each of the individual bends or I can just do control A and select all of them. And the feature has been applied to the end of each of these cylindrical bends. We then adjust the width and we can adjust the depth. And if we look on the flat pattern, we can see the modification has been made, relieving those areas such that there's no material protrusion after bending. Now one really useful part of this would be to make the bend bulge width the same as the bend allowance. And what I've done for that here is created a bend allowance expression which is driven from the material thickness and the bend radius and we now can see that if the material changes or the bend radius changes this is updated. Let's take a look at some of the other forms. If we open up the legend here, this is the circular form where we define the depth and the width. We can use the U-shape form and the depth must be greater than or equal to half the width. So let me just change that to say 20. And we can see the U-shape form generated and finally we have the V-shaped form with alongside width and depth we now also have radius. Now I can adjust the radius. And that's the bend bulge relief command in sheet metal.